Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's math channel, and I am now going to go over the Pure Mathematics P4 International A level um, at Excel exam from June 2021, which actually was one of those COVID affected sessions which didn't take place in a normal way. Anyway, I'm going to go over the questions for this paper, starting with question number one. And I will go through each question on a separate video so that I can categorize them um, according to topic as well. To find the other questions, you can just click, click on the playlist, which is in the description. Or wait till the end of the video at the top of the screen. You'll find um, a link. So, no, on this area here, you'll find a link to the rest of the paper. Anyway, so the question number one says, given that K is a constant and that the binomial expansion of the square root of 1 plus kx, where the magnitude of kx is less than 1, in ascending powers of x up to the term in x cubed, is 1 plus 1 over 8x plus ax squared plus bx cubed. Part a, a part 1, find the value of k, and part 2, find the value of the constant a and the constant b. So this is part a, part b is coming later. So... Um, this is all about, of course, binomial expansion. So the first thing we need to do is to rewrite this in index form. So the square root of, let me just change the color just so that it's more. Okay, so the square root of 1 plus kx is the same as writing 1 plus kx to the power of a half, the square root and third form is the power of a half in index form. So we need to write it in index form because of the binomial expansion we have to do. Now, this is a fractional index, okay, fractional power. And when we want to do use binomial expansion for fractional powers or for negative powers, negative integers even, then we cannot use the NCR method that we are so used to and familiar with from P2. And we have no choice but to use the expansion which we can find in the formula book, which after a bit of practice you won't really have to look at. But basically, the formula for this is, I'll write it up here. Um, in fact, I'll just write it over here. The formula for this is in this form. They, take, they say 1 plus x to the power of n. Okay, so the x stands for whatever's in this position here. Now, 1 plus x to the power of n is equal to 1 plus x n x plus n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial which means 2 times 1 times x squared plus n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 over 3 factorial times x cubed plus and it continues on with this pattern n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 over 4 factorial times x to the power of 4 okay so how do we apply this formula to what we have here? Well, we simply do the following. The x in our formula stands for whatever's in this position here. But however, there must be a 1 in this position for us to use this expansion. It can't be any other number apart from 1. Now, we're kind of fortunate in this question here. It is a 1 already. But if it was another number, we would have to do some modifications to it in order to make this a 1 and then multiply our answer by whatever we kind of took out to make this a one. There's plenty of examples of this type of question in that form, which you can find if you click on the link at the end of the video, uh, somewhere over here, I'll have one link for questions to do with binomial expansion from P4, and you would find a few examples of that in, in those videos. Anyway, um, so how do we apply this? Well, we have one, that's fine, plus NX. Now, N stands for the power, which is a half, so plus a half. And x is not just x, it's whatever term is in this position. So I'm not going to write x, I'm going to write kx. Whatever's here, including the sign, if it was negative kx, I'll put negative kx. This is plus kx, so I'm going to put kx, a half times kx. Plus, so n is, remember, the power, so it's a half times a half minus 1, which is minus half, times, and you have a half minus, uh, then you finish that, sorry, then you've got kx squared. Okay, over 2 factorial. Remember, 2 factorial means 2 times 1. It's that number times the 1 before it times the 1 before, until you get to 1. Okay, so that's for the second part. We need to go up to x cubed because they want us to find a, which is a coefficient of the x squared, and b, which is a coefficient of the x cubed. So we need to go up to the next 
expansion here, the next term in the expansion. So we have a half times a half minus one, which is minus a half, times a half minus two, which is minus three over two, over three factorial. Three factorial means three times two times one times, and then you got kx cubed, kx cubed. Okay, so now we can simplify this and then compare it to what we've been given and hopefully be able to find the values that we're asked to find. So let me just um, simplify this. So you're going to have here uh, 1 plus, you're going to have a half times k times x. Now you have a half times a minus a half times something positive over something positive. So this is going to be negative. Plus, plus times minus is negative. That's going to be a negative term. You're going to have a half times a half, which is a quarter. A quarter divided by 2, which is 1 eighth. Then you have k x all so it's k squared x squared, one eighth k squared x squared. Okay, all of this has to be squared, and then you're going to have plus because you have a minus times a minus, and the rest are all positive. So this three will cancel with this three. So we're going to have an eighth times a minus uh, times minus a half times a minus a half. So that's positive one over eight divided by two, which is one over sixteen. You're going to have k cubed x cubed. Okay, so this is the expansion in terms of k. Now it says find the value of k. So now we can compare it to what we've been given. We've been given that 1 plus k to the square root of this is given as 1 plus 1 over 8x um, plus ax squared plus bx cubed and we got to find the value of k and we got to find the value of a and the value of b so part one says find the value of k to find the value of k let's compare the x's let's compare the x terms because that's where you have a, the first uh, k here so we can see that one half of k one half times k and one eighth are the same because the coefficient of x is at half k it's a half k x one over a x these these two expansions are the same that means a half times k is equal to 1 over 8 which means if you multiply by 2 k is equal to 2 over 8 which is k is equal to 1 sorry 2 over 8 jumping the gun there k is equal to 2 over 8 multiplying both sides by 2 so which is 1 over 4 so k is a quarter that is the answer to part 1 part 2 says find the values of a and b so for a, we can compare the coefficients of x squared. So we have ax squared and we have minus 1 eighth k squared. So that means a must be the same as minus 1 over 8 k squared. Okay, the coefficient of x squared here is a, the coefficient of x squared here is minus 1 over 8 k squared. They must be the same. So we know what k is, it's a quarter. So you have minus 1 over 8 multiplied by a quarter squared, which is going to be negative and you're going to have uh, 1 over 8 times 16 8 times 16 that's 80 plus 48 was 128 minus 100 and minus 1 over 128 that is the value of our a and now we need to find the value of our b so again we can compare the coefficients this time of x cubed so let's take the x cubed and compare them so you have b and 1 over 16 k cubed must be the same. So b is positive 1 over 16 times x times k cubed, sorry, times k cubed coefficients of x cubed. Okay, so it's 1 over 16 times a quarter cubed. So it's 1 over 16 times 1 over 64. Okay, so I think I need my calculator for that. 16 times 64 gives you 1024 so this is equal to 1 over 1024 so this is the value of a minus 1 over 128 and the value of b which I'll write down here is 1024 1 over 1024 so there we have the answer to question number one part a okay now we're going to go on to part um, B. 
all right now for part b we already have this expansion done okay and we're going to use this expansion which we found use expansion that you just did to find an approximate value to the square root of 1.15 now here's what where this thing comes in all right where it says the magnitude of kx is less than one all right so it says the magnitude of kx now kx is sorry this is not squared here this is just sorry about that okay the magnitude of kx okay is less than one so that means a magnitude of a quarter x must be less than one that's what that condition is so this expansion is only valid as long as this fact is true that the magnitude of 1 over 4x must be less than 1 okay so if that's true that means a quarter times the magnitude of x is less than 1 which means the magnitude of x must be less than 4 so as long as the magnitude of x is less than 4 then that value of x can be substituted instead of x in the expansion and it will be a valid expansion it will give you a value which is going to help to approximate what we need so let's see what happens if we try to equate what's under the square root here to what's under the square root here in order to see what the value of x is that satisfies that so if i want to if i want to approximate the square root of 1.15 i'm going to equate it to whatever's under the bracket now expansion so we have one plus a quarter x is equal to 1.15 and we can say a quarter x is equal to 1.15 minus 1 which is 0 0.15 which means therefore x is equal to 4 times 0 0.15 which is 0 0.6 okay so we, we can see that the magnitude of x must be less than 4 x equals 0 0.6 okay is a valid substitution because it, its magnitude is less than four which, we, which is what we need so let's put x equals let's put x equals 0 0.6 into this so therefore when x equals 0 0.6 then we're going to have the square root of 1.15 because that's the value of x that causes this to be 0 0.15 is approximately equal to 1 plus 1 over 8 times 0 0.6 plus 1 or oh, sorry minus minus 128 1 over 128 sorry times 0 0.6 squared plus 1 over 1024 times 0 0.6 cubed okay so that should give us a valid expansion and we have to give our answer to six decimal places so let's see what that gives us if we stick that in the calculator we're going to have one plus um, 0 0.6 divided by eight 0 0.6 over eight minus we're going to have 0 0.6 squared over 1.28 0 0.6 squared okay um, over 128 plus we're going to have uh, 0 0.6 cubed, 0 0.6 cubed over 1024. Okay, so that gives us 1.7. I'm going to do there in case what happens a lot here. Sometimes I recapture the screen and paste it over here. Okay. So I'm just doing this so I don't I, I don't lose track of what the number was. So yeah, so that is one point one point zero seven two three nine eight four three eight. They said six decimal places. So you start counting from here. The first decimal place so you have one, two, three, four, five, six. So it stops here. So this is one point zero seven two three nine eight. And this is to six decimal places as requested in the question. And there we have the answer to part B and the end of question number one from this P4 paper, all about binomial expansion and its application in, um, you know, approximating values. So as long as the value of X, when you equate what we expanded to the value that's under the same square root sign, if you equate those together and the value of X you get 
satisfies a condition that this number here, its magnitude must be less than 1 when this is a 1 here, then you can use that value of x in the expansion. If the magnitude of x in this case was was greater than 4, okay, so if it was like, for example, 5 or minus 5 or something like that, then this expansion would not have been a valid expansion to use that value in, okay, because it's only valid when the value of this is less than 1. Whatever this value is here, once you've made this 1, is less than 1. Okay, so that's the answer to question number 1 of this P4 paper. You want to see other questions from this particular paper, you can click on the link over here. You want to see questions to do with um, binomial expansion, you can click on this link over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking over here. And at the top of the page, you'll find another P4 paper you might want to watch. Thank you for watching and see you soon.